Hello, hello, hello. This is Tom from Tom and Ruth Philippine Adventures. Uh, today, I got something new. I've always, I should do a video on this, but it's, it, it only take about five seconds. Uh, I have, uh, everybody asks me sometimes, I had a, a subscriber this morning ask me, he says, what do you use for your camera? What do you use for your things like that? I don't use anything, I just use my camera. I download everything on my phone. Uh, the, use my camera on everything. Everything's done by camera. My YouTube, everything. I, I go. I do everything but my camera. But it's a Xomi uh, Mi Max phone. So, uh, and I, I bought a stand today. It's the very first time I'm not out here holding the camera. Every video and all the 170, 80 videos I've done, I've always held the camera out front. Today, I want to talk about dinghy. Uh, something that's very important. At uh, my daughter's school, they just did a... Um, uh, a warning came out that there's a virus, dinghy virus, uh, it's really hitting the school really bad. One, one, one uh, young uh, little girl passed, she died from dinghy, and, and uh, one or two of our classmates have gotten sick with dinghy recently. Now, or, or my daughter has gotten dinghy. Once you get dinghy, you have it rest of your life. Now, some points that I was going to say, and excuse me if I'm going to read this, because I got this under the CDC. Um, now, when I first came here in the Philippines, uh, something I did, I'd always have cologne or lotions on. I went to the school. One of the first things that happened was, I noticed mosquitoes were all around me. I looked around my legs. I looked around. I mean, they're flying around. In other words, uh, my wife and I, she, it was 15 mosquitoes around my legs. So something you have to be aware of is careful. Uh, if you're going to be here and you wear shorts, uh, you can wear them. Just be, be aware. If you're coming in, out here, make sure you wear some kind of off or DEET, some kind of uh, spray that uh, you can protect yourself from it because adults can get it also. Uh, it incubates in two to seven days. And the thing about dinghy more than anything else is if you're at an outing with your family and you get bitten by a mosquito, now this particular mosquito comes out in the mornings, uh, early in the mornings until what, 9 or 10, something like that, right Ruth? And then it comes uh, in the early afternoons. So it's really a day mosquito. Now it can still bite you at night, so you're sitting outside, uh, relaxing, and it, once, it, once it gets you, but here's the thing, it, I did not know. If a mosquito bites you, and it's carrying, it's a female mosquito, and she, it, it bites you, Say another mosquito comes by and bites you an hour later and you're still outside. Once you get the virus and start incubated the two, the two to seven days, if you get bit during that time, that mosquito can go over to your son, your daughter, your neighbor, whoever's with you at that time when you're sitting outside. It can transfer it to someone else or down, down, down the road. So you don't think about it, but it's, it's really serious. I did not even think about that. Dinghy is something that's really serious here. Uh, the thing they really don't have a cure for. But babies can get it. Anybody can get it. Uh, symptoms are high fever, pain behind the eyes, uh, of course muscle and joint pain, uh, pain here in your neck, and of course uh, your nose is really sore, they said. And then you get it with uh, gum. Your gums will be pain. Of course, like I said, it's two to seven day incubation period, you get a rash, but if you have some or most of those symptoms, just go get them checked out. They can check it and find out if you have dinghy really fast at the clinic. And you can just walk into some of the clinics. And there's many clinics you can just walk in uh, and and just 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 pay. You don't have to have insurance. If you don't have Philly Health or some type of insurance, just go in. And I'm, t I'm telling this about the, uh, the, some of the Americans and foreigners and everybody's going to be coming here in the Philippines in the next few months. Just bring you, just make sure you bring some insecticide or some some spray for yourself off. There's many. Make sure it's uh, DEET has DEET in it because that's really now. There's uh, there's other off brands that's really good, but they do have some natural ones out there. Avon has one, Skin So Soft. It works pretty good. It's an oil based product. They use it on animals. You can use it on animals, but just realize that this, uh, you have to have something. Now, you can buy off here now. When I first came here, 
years ago, you could not buy it. You could not buy any kind of off or things like that here. They didn't have it. Not available where I was at anyway. I had looked at it, looked for it in Manila, and we couldn't find it. So, But early in the morning, uh, two to seven day incubation, it can, once it bites you, it can spread to others. Um, of course, the, the thing of it is, what they do in the hospital, they're just going to give you plenty of fluids. They're going to watch your, make sure you eat well, uh, make sure you have uh, your, your immune systems up to the standards. But here's some ideas on what you can do to protect yourself. Wear uh, loose fit clothing, of course. Uh, try to be careful on the colognes and fragrant lotions and things like that on your body because it attracts the mosquitoes. And if you come here, you know, you want to sleep at night, you want to make sure you have some type of uh, bedding, a mosquito net or something like that to protect yourself from the uh, <clears throat> from mosquitoes. Because at nighttime they'll come in the house, especially here. And thank goodness I have this house. We have very rarely any mosquitoes in here because airtight house. So that happens and you get mosquitoes in the house they'll bite you through the night one two three four five bites just one mosquito just eats you up in a room so get a mosquito net make sure you keep it down all the time nothing gets in it during the daytime so at night when you're in there you can relax um, some also some things to protect yourself around the area is if you're if you're say at someone's house or you're with family and things like that make sure they don't have any standing water or sometimes pots will have water in the bottom of the pots, uh, things like that, empty the water out. Uh, some, if you're by a rice field, well, uh, you're just, uh, good luck on that one. Uh, and I'm by a rice field myself, so I, it's just something that, mosquitoes are here, you know. And I, I had the spray, I have lotion, I have a couple other off brands that I bought, bringing it here from um, USA. And I've used them quite a bit, and they all work very well. But the thing of it is, is the key is, is during the daytime, just be aware. Uh, early in the morning, uh, three to five hours in the morning when the sun comes up, and the same thing right before dusk, and right around that time frame is when they come out, and they love to bite. And if a mosquito, a male mosquito bites you, and uh, the female has already given you the dinghy, that male is going to transfer to whoever he bites next, and I did not. Uh, I did not know that. I learned that today. Clean surroundings. And make sure you clean all your surroundings around your house. No water. And there's no water and things like that. No standing water around. Like I said earlier, nothing in the plants. No standing water. And uh, if you think that you're not feeling well and you think you have a problem, just run to the clinic or run to the local hospital have you checked out because one thing about it you don't want to get it because it can be it can be devastating to you and once you have dinghy you always have it the rest of your life you have the virus in you and there's not much you can do about that I want to thank everybody for watching and please hit subscribe